Oh, Terry Orban, this is a reading for AA, not Alcoholics Anonymous. This is a person with the initials AA. Hello, my name is AA. Hello, AA. My birthday is something. I've been on and off with somebody. His birthday is something. We've been physically separated since August of 2017. That's a long time. We were out of communication since July of 2018. And he recently reached out to me on January 13th. He has yet to respond to me. Huh? You said he reached out to you on January 13th, and he has yet to respond to me. So that means, I guess, that you replied, and then he never replied back, I guess. He said he was sending me my things, but I knew he was lying. Will he communicate with me soon? Will he ever tell the truth about how he feels? Please and thank you. All right, well, hopefully he sends you your things. That kind of stinks. Let's get some cards here. We'll go with that card. We'll go with this card and this card. And I'm sniffling, by the way, because I'm sick. So in case you're like, he sounds sick, I am. All right. We have four cards here. We'll grab an oracle card from the... Oracle Visions for the one of wonderful Chiro Marchetti. Chiro says, hmm, that is a lady and her things. So yes, you're going to get your things back. Basically, that's what that tells me. Doesn't that say your things? That says you'll get your things. She has her things. And she has a key. I do not see a guy in the picture. All right. Let's see what uh, let's see what cards we have. The beginning of the movie story. We have Temperance. Ooh, okay. So sort of a balancing thing. The Queen of Swords in a bad mood. The Fool on a new venture. What the heck? I'm getting this in every reading. I swear I shuffled. I'm a magician. I shuffle thoroughly. You can actually see the wear on the cards from when I shuffle too much. Oh well. We just had this. We just had this in the last reading. Anyway, um, all right, so, so you, yeah, you, you get your things back. But I don't see a man in the picture, nor do I see a man in any of these other cards. So I don't think you're going to get back together. That's just, that's just the obvious thing that I see here, because I was looking for a guy, looking for a guy. So we could pull any other card, and we could have... You know, a guy, a rabbit, or some other character in here. We have just you, or we'll have the frog. But the frog's pulling in a different direction after you have a new venture. So let's explain what I'm talking about. So we go movie scenes from here over to here. And the final thing is you do have a new adventure. The adventure is going to push your limits a bit. It's going to be something that's unexpected in an unexpected time. So we'll start over here with temperance. Temperance is sort of the balancing act are sort of the refilling of the pond from the cup and, and things like that. In this particular temperance, you do have an interesting character sort of watching you from afar. And that tells me, just from the card, that he is sort of observing you or he is sort of watching you. He is interested in this. But I kind of wonder how interested you are in this because you do have a, a different journey with a different person coming up soon. So... You do have the Queen of Swords, so there is this cross-communication, and this is a fairly negative card, one of the most negative Queen of Swords I've ever seen. So she is dressed in red, it is sort of this down, snowy area, she has this foul mood look on her face, and it's all of this sort of an emotional turmoil, or holding emotions in too much, and trying to... Trying to um, trying to recover something that's not there or get a communication that's not there and try to force it. So this tells me it's sort of a forcing communication and that's something that you really don't want to do for a long period of time because that's not going to be beneficial for you, right? The forcing of the communication. So it seems like that he is watching, he is sort of looking from afar and he is watching you try to balance this thing and try to recover the relationship or get back what you had or things like that, as well as trying to get your things back. 
you know, stuff like that. But that's already covered by this other by this other card where where you do get your things back. So, um, but you're trying to do the balancing act. You're trying to get the relationship back going. You're trying to recover something that's not recoverable. It seems from this particular card. This is sort of a down card. It's it's not exactly the best of moods. It's it's sort of an odd card, and then you have this odd spectator sort of watching at the same time, I guess, with his hookah pipe or whatever the thing is. So the, she is, again, trying to do the balancing. But you'll notice that she's closed in from all the mushrooms. So she has multiple barriers that are around her. This is almost like the, I believe, the Seven of Swords. We have the sewers all around, and she's sort of trapped in there. It sort of has the same feeling, but with mushrooms, which is the same thing. So if you look at my basic reading technique with obstacles, you do have obstacles all over the place here. A lot of obstacles to keep her from balancing this, to keep her from refilling the 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 pond from the, the cup, or, you know what I'm saying? So the balance of temperance, the temperance trying to get back what it had, and it's just not working. You have so many obstacles and you have him sort of watching you. Then you go down to the foul mood looking Queen of Swords, which sort of means that there's sort of this forced communication or there's sort of this trying to get communication going to where it's not going. So I think you emailed me this like two weeks ago. So probably totally different situation now, but uh, you don't know. It's been since January since you since you talked to him. So, um, so there just seems to be this negative communication or communication that's not the best of moods. So again, you have your current situation here. So it's been two weeks. Maybe he's contacted, maybe he hasn't. But it just seems like that that's not something that you really want if you were broken up in the first place kind of thing. So, Or if you got dumped or if you were broken up in the first place. It doesn't seem like something that you want. From your email, it does seem like you're detail-oriented. You gave me everyone's birthday. You had full names and things like that. So... You are detail-oriented, so I think you're trying to use or trying to approach this relationship like a business, it almost seems. It seems that you would be good as like a, a manager or an accountant or, or somebody in charge because you're very detail-oriented, and I think that you're trying to use that in a relationship, and that's not working for you. I think a relationship is more of a dynamic type of thing. I think a relationship is more from emotions, more from the heart, and trying to use, I guess, an analytical approach to it doesn't always work, but it seems like it should, but a lot of times it just doesn't work. So, again, if you're asking me my opinion, it seems that you have a lot of obstacles from the mushrooms. It seems that he is watching. He he knows that you're, that you're incoming. He knows that you're trying to start the communication back up and trying to find that balance in the relationship, but he's just not that interested, or he wouldn't be there sort of observing you with the hookah or whatever that thing is. And again, we have the negative connotations from all the, the, the communications, and I'm wondering if the communications are making you happy, or is this something that you feel obligated to do, or is this something that you really want? Because if this is a negative component in your life, maybe you should, um, maybe you should look at you know, telling him how you really feel or whatever, and then and then letting him respond uh, instead of being the communicator, if that makes sense. So let's go over here. We have the fool, which means you're about to get into a different relationship. You're jumping over the pit. You're jumping over the that hole, you know, that sort of occurred in your heart from this broken up relationship. You're jumping over it and you're entering something new. And I think you have a new relationship coming up. I do think you have a barrier to that, and there's yeah, there's some sort of an emotional barrier that you had toward a new relationship, and you are being pulled away from the new relationship. But you are being pulled in the into this journey. It's almost like either you're being pulled away from this situation into the new journey, but you're definitely being pulled in the direction of the new journey or the new relationship or some new venture in your life that I think you're going to make you happy. And it's going to be something positive. The Fool is always a, a positive card. You know, just jump over the hole that was created in your life, get to the other side and have some new adventure and have something fun happen. And it seems you're being dragged that way progressively over time and you'll eventually be there. But 
um, you do have something much more exciting, much more lovable, much better for you coming up in your life. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. You seem like a nice person, and you seem like you deserve something better than, um, you know, something that would bring you down. So if this situation is bringing you down and it's causing you grief and stuff like that, you know, just let it go. If it was meant to be, then he'll contact you, he'll come back to you, etc., etc. But um, if the situation is not meant to be and it's causing negative effects in your life, maybe you want to look at just leaving the situation as is, letting him respond if he's interested, but then moving on to this new adventure. This is just my opinion. I'm just a guy that reads pretty tarot cards. If you'd like a reading of your own, please look in the description. I have my email address. Email me and I will give you a reading. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.